Hello. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Hi. Hope you had a good weekend. Yeah. Nine was pretty good. We watched some Loki. Yep. We uh, we finished Loki. No spoilers. It was a good. Mm-hmm. Today we are continuing with this. This is Judgment Chapter Two. Mm-hmm. We're gonna give it a I few minutes. I missed like, that last half of this. That was the internet the link. You know, but I meant you know my internet crashed. Yeah. We'll give it a few minutes for people to roll on in. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Uh, Zombie Cap will be here not too long. He said he was going to be a little bit late. Do I have the, uh, the interact things turned on? Like to throw stuff at me saying and... Um Hey Specs. You do not have to throw things at you. Nope. I guess I do. Oh there it is. Snap. I don't have my bleep motion plugged in, so I can't actually do that. Oh, yeah, that's fair. So, it's just gonna be food stuck in my hand. What is on my ear? I need a second to catch up. I mean, there's Chubby Bunny right here. He just can't use his hands. Yeah. And gets put in a box of shame. How you doing, Ernest? How you doing, Rook? That are two boxes. Uh, no, the leap is not out Double of commission. Uh, it is very hot, and the leap motion gets very hot, and I do not want to be very hot. So. Understandable. Yeah. How y'all doing? <clears throat> I'm okay. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. It's hot. Yeah. All right. So it wouldn't. I don't know if it does a recap. If it doesn't, I'll recap it afterwards. Also, do let us know about the sound. The year is 2018. Previously, in two years ago. Who've been turning up dead with their eyes gouged out. Lawyer turned detective Takayuki Yagami took on the case, proving the suspect's alibi. But he can't shake the feeling that the true culprit is out there. He gives this anonymous killer a name. Yagami calls him the Mole. Three bodies have turned up in Kamrocho, each of them missing both eyes. 
Everyone a Kyori man. Kumi is the most recent. And the guy who killed them all was your mole, huh? Yep. Got Kumi hand delivered to him by Hamura. In other words, Hamura was cooperating with the mole. He might have even been involved in all three cases. But Hamura kept that hidden and ended up getting off scot free. In turn, making us look like fools. I'm not about to let him get away with this. Agreed. We gotta go all out if we wanna win. Too bad the pay sucks. Don't hate, man. I don't get it. Why would the captain want to protect the mole anyways? He could have gotten life in the slammer if things went south. Hard to say with what we know now. First things first, we need to figure out who the mole is. That's why we're here, remember? The mole's first victim was found right in this very alley. Mm-hmm. Happened back in August. Kinkichi Mashiba, a Kyore guy, 27. Pretty small time. Even lower rank than Kume. Body got reported in the morning. Eyes gouged clean out of his skull. The corpse was found pretty much the same way Where as Where exactly Kume. did they find him? What sort of position was he in? Not sure. Cops don't really publish those kinds of details. Well, guess we'll have to do one better then. Hold up a sec. The cops already did their whole song and dance searching for the mole. But they couldn't turn up a damn thing. Why do you think we could do any better? Uh, we have to. Doesn't matter whether or not we can do better. We have to. Hamra made us look like fools, and I'm not about to stand for that. Right. Anyways, the next victim was in, uh, October. Found in an alley off Tenkaichi Street. Shall we head over? I'm actually gonna head over alone, if you don't mind. Think you can get in touch with that informant in the meantime? Huh? Why I obey? We're gonna use Kaito's connections to a dirty cop now the time. Didn't you say something about him selling police info? If he's got info on the mole, we need it. Yep, I can ask. Thanks. Let's see. First dead guy. Second dead guy. Third dead guy. Well, what's the dead guys? Yep. So I don't remember if this is where the side quests start opening up, but if they do, we'll start poking at them. Yeah. Side quests in this uh, game series are always good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I didn't get that hurt. I think just on Gyoza. We'll do. Good stuff. Back to it. Compliment to the chef. Why, thank you. Friend event. Seriously, your chasu was incredible. Oh yeah, glad to hear. A lot of people compliment Arama, but to be honest, not too many men people mention our chasu. Wonder why? It's the strangest thing. We put just as much effort into our chasu as we do our ramen. That's probably why it tastes so good. Yeah, I'll let you in on a secret. We had a little special ingredient that you probably wouldn't expect. No? Well, what would that be? Take a wild guess. Hmm. hmm. Can I get a hint? All right. Love. Then. Let's see. Normally you add sugar to sweeten up chashu. Here we use something else. What do you hmm. think that could be? Substitute sugar, huh? Honey. I'm gonna say honey. Hmm? 
Yep. This is ah. rain and honey. You can make nearly any kind of meat drip with sweet, tender goodness. How do you mention it? That chashi was dripping with sweet, tender goodness. <sighs> Indeed. What's your yummy. name? What he said. Yagami-san, huh? The pleasure's all mine. Hope to see you around more often. You bet. See you next time. Now, how about that the casino that was back here? It doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Slow and steady. I know I haven't ever had chashu. In Kaichi Alley. This is where the mole's second victim was found. If I recall, the body was found in the garbage dump, so around here. <gasps> Time to find a cat! Behind me and to the left. There's a hammer. <gasps> cat! This is where they must. This is where they take out the garbage, right? The corpse must have been lying around here. The case happened months ago, though. Don't do that. Don't suppose there'd be any traces of the body left. I take a closer look. Suspicious. What's this? It's a screw. Totally unrelated to the case. Calling? Calling? Calling, says, uh, hey, Ernest. Like, someone's saying my name in the background in the game? What's going on? Don't know. QTE time. You won't get away. Uh. Doing all right? Hold up. Yeah. Let's get up a little bit. Sure about that? Yeah.
get away. I did it. Parkour. Our floor. Hello. 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 Welcome. <laughs> You're not getting any thanks for that. Here, you earned this back. I own it. Look, it wasn't a perfect plan. But it worked out in the end, didn't it? So thanks. Is that what you call that? And I don't want your thanks, asshole. <laughs> okay. See ya. I want that mask. It's just a Guy Fox mask, isn't it? Basically. No. What is it? It's def definitely Japanese style. No mask. And that's... Sorry, I gotta go. Hang on. Oh, okay, no worries. Burglary ring. No wonder the cops can't catch him. We got cut off, but you all good? I got in touch with Zayabe. He's scraping up what he can find in the whole mall thing. The whole mall? Mall. Oh. Just to tighten until we hear back. Okay, cool. Yep. Yep. Cool. Mole is much cooler in Japanese because it's Mogura. And it means, it's basically like a dragon. It's a word for a dragon. Of course it is. Oh, back to the Gendo Law Firm. First. Excuse me, I don't mean to scare you, but I need help bad. What's the matter? Are you hurt? My stomach, it's killing me all of a sudden. Should I call an ambulance? No, don't do that. I don't have that kind of money. That's mood. Please, just go get Moroboshi Sensei. Moroboshi? Some kind of doctor? Yeah, you should be underground in the sewers you can get this from a manhole at the children's park. Stay put. He'll understand it. you tell him Kondo is asking for him, please hurry. Why would a doctor be hanging around the sewers? This is not really what matters here. Because he's a homeless doctor, I assume. Weird how it yep. feels like I know Kamarocha by the back of my hands. Yeah. But I keep forgetting what's from what time period, so like, you know, that, that casino in the back of Kyushu number one. Probably not there anymore. It definitely wasn't there anymore. Well, the Millennium Tower's still there anyways. Well, yeah. I wonder if they ever visit, like, the massive underground, uh, I don't know the word for it. It's like Tokyo has these vast underground compartments for flooding. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Excuse me. Are you Moro... Moroboshi? 
Moro Boshi. Yeah. But who might you be? Doesn't ring a bell. So what do you want? Mm. What's what's to tell this guy again? Kondo is calling for you. Mm -hmm. Understand. It's on. He said his stomach was killing him. Where is he? Public Park 3. <laughs> hey, hey. Mm -hmm. Thanks a million, Doc. You too, my guy. Did you eat something weird again? Let me think. Well, I did some dumpster diving at Pink Street yesterday. I knew I tasted something fishy. <sighs> Looks like Gondo Sam's done it again. Yeah, Gondo San, wasn't it? Yep. Sorry for your trouble. This guy's always eating trash and messing up the stomach. Excuse me. No worries, but I gotta ask, are you actually a doctor? Yep, I was. That's all in the past. He used to be a doctor at this huge medical university. <laughs> We've been down and dumb since he lost a chance to become a professor. He started helping us out instead. Shut up, Conda. Oopsie daisy, my bad. As for you, here's something for your trouble. I know it is much. You can now get treated by Moroboshi and buy a medical kit from as well. I appreciate it either way. Well then, I'll be off now. Thanks for helping out. Alright, back to... Hi, what's going on here? He's just suddenly came falling down. Thank God no one got hurt. Oh, that's the platform I jumped across. Haha, <laughs> whoops. My full grandkid joined them Kaihin hooligans. This is all based on a real place, right, Iggy? I think we said that before. Uh oh. Did we lose the fish? The fish is muted. Uh, he's, he's muted. I just got back. Welcome back. Everything okay? Yeah, my, my, my mom's cousin is visiting. And like, we want to watch Inception, and I'm like, well, we haven't hooked up the DVD player in, like, two years since we got the new TV. <laughs> I don't oh. have an HDMI cable. Okay, I'll watch oh. it for you on YouTube. You kids have fun now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know that feeling. Afternoon. Did I keep you waiting or something? No. We were just talking about you, actually. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Of course. Especially if you've got a job for me. <laughs> You're always so eager to work. A great fighter, too. You ever take lessons? I did back when I was a kid, yeah. The rest has been more of a learn-by-doing thing. I like to think of it as Kamurocho style. Because you trained yourself on the streets? Man, what a life. I bet you've got some crazy stories. Um, <clears throat> Yagami-san. What's up? Actually, I do have some work for you. Yeah? What kind? Here. Take a look at what I've got. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. My name is Noriko Taguchi. My husband has started going out frequently recently. And I want to know where he's going. It's hard to imagine that he's cheating on me, but can you check? Can you investigate? Thank you. 80,000 yen. Yeah, sure. I'll send the details to your office. Put them up on your board or something. Sounds good. Thanks, Sari san. Yagami, you still sniffing around that Kume case? Oh, yeah. Never told Genda sensei I was still looking for the mole. Yeah, it's not a problem, is it? Not a problem, per se. But the case is closed. I 
can't keep paying you to investigate. Fine by me. It's a personal matter now. Even so, you're convinced Hammer is covering for the killer, right? You know he'll be none too happy if he finds out you're still on the case. He brought this on himself, if you ask me. Speaking of, have you seen him since the trial? No, but he and Shintani keep in touch. They're practically drinking buddies these days. Really? Come on in, Hattori-san. Small, but it's home. Oh, I know all about this place. Right, Yagami-san? Oh, sorry. I forgot. Shintani had an interview today. Just pretend Yagami isn't here, yeah? Wouldn't want your readers thinking he had a hand in getting Hamura's acquittal. Oh, don't worry about that, Shintani-sensei. That courtroom was yours, and yours alone. I should go. Looks like I'm the third wheel here. Without a photo, Yagami-san? For as much as you did on the case? Let me just get one of you in Shintani-sensei, huh? Tea, sir? What a treat. That would be great, Shirosaki-sensei. I hope we get to kick him in the dick. 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 Yeah. So, the, uh, if you missed the last stream, uh, that's the reporter that broke the story that broke Yagami's career. And is generally an asshole. Revenge is best served with a kick to the dick. Kick to the dick. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Couldn't hit you fast enough. Nothing came through. Oh, good. <laughs> Old lady. Excuse me. Are you kicking about the, the job? Kick her in the dick. <laughs> I'm Noriko Takuchi. You came highly recommended by Genda Sensei. I'm Igami. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Here, I'll get the door. <clears throat> there, I caught it that time. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a private investigator. You wanted me to investigate if your husband is cheating on you or not, correct? Yes, I'm afraid that's right. I can't shake the feeling that he might be, but I need someone to find out for sure. The darkest place. Very well. Can you tell me the whole story? Yes. You see, my husband and I own a cafe on Taihei Boulevard called Heavy Coffee. Heavy Coffee. We've managed to get there ever since it opened, in fact. My husband's a good man, but he always kept to himself. We've been married 40 years, and I can hardly remember any real fights, let alone infidelity. Sounds like you two have a great marriage. I would usually agree, but lately he's been leaving the cafe early. I mean, there's always been slow days where he would leave to hit the pachinko slots or go see a movie. But lately, this has been... <laughs> this lately has become an almost everyday occurrence. But what leads you to believe he's cheating on you? Perhaps he simply found a new hobby, for instance. That's fairly common at your age, isn't it? Yes, I thought that might be the case at 102. One day I stopped in at the pachinko parlor and he said he'd be at. <laughs> and I didn't see him anywhere. Hmm. And you're sure you were at the right place? The city has quite a few pachinko parlors, all owned by Konami. If it had only been once, I might not be so sure. But I assure you, I've been thorough. I've checked them several times now, and I've never found him there once. I see. Sounds like you've done your homework, then. Sorry for giving him the third degree there. You got me, son. I'd like you to investigate where my husband goes when he leaves the shop. And if he is cheating, can you tell me who he's meeting? You really want the gory details? Yep. 
I want to know what kind of woman he would cheat on me with. I can do that, but I have to say, sometimes you're better off not knowing. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. I put 80,000 yen on my request. Is that sufficient? Of course. I'll take the case. Thank you. Like I said, he leaves the cafe early almost every day now. He even told me that he's been wanting to see a new movie that just came out. Alright. should make it simple enough to tell him when he leaves. <laughs> Please do. The lady shop's called Heavy Coffee. It's on Thai Boulevard. I guess I'll check it out. <laughs> Giddy. Oh, they're still there? They're still there. Still judging. <laughs> Itty bitty kitty council. <laughs> Alright, to Taihei Boulevard. But first, the exercise of my superpowers. Night's planet. I don't know what any of that says. Bunnies. <gasps> oh, I'm under attack. Bunny was a distraction. Wild Jackson Buffalo Wings. There's heavy coffee. This is heavy coffee. Hmm? That must be my client's husband. Let's see where he goes. <coughs> Why'd you be the wrong guy? Yeah, that's kind of a big assumption. Hail the target. My cardboard box. Oh god. I had to step away for a second there. I noticed. Welcome back. Yeah. You okay? Oh yeah, just phone from uh a phone call from work. It's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. Yeah. In the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. So we're trailing this guy who's co-owner of Heavy Coffee. Yeah, I believe... Uh, we still had this when I was... We got about this far or a little bit less when we were... When I was playing it, rather. Uh, 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 ah! Have you considered crouching? It's not Skyrim. I feel like that would make you more conspicuous. <laughs> oh shit, he sees me, and he's just, and it is duck in the middle of the road. 
Must have been the wind. He's still right there! No! I'm behind the sign. Jeez. <laughs> See, I told you to just try crouching. You didn't say behind anything, you just said crouching. It'd be like if I just did this and the sign weren't there. I'm yeah, gonna take a funny. selfie right here. He is literally a taking a... No, he, I saw a camera flash. He took a selfie. Oh my god. Yagami's wallet bothers me so much. Yeah, I, mean, it's, it's, I guess it's attached by a chain, but... Like, damn, dude. He straight up just said, was that a person watching me? Better not investigate. Yep. Majima, are you in there? Majima, anywhere. Because that was Majima everywhere. It is, but anywhere was a bit more like, oh. He just stopped in front of this moped. Oh, there's a person there. A woman. Not looking positive. She's caked in makeup, though. She's been really trying to hide her age. The red brick again, maybe? That works. They're moving. The red brick, huh? That's gotta be the red brick hotel. Not the pizza. Alright, I'm gonna need a photo as proof. Where's the best spot to catch him entering the hotel? Here? Or here? No, maybe here? I should follow them and get into a position that will give me a clean shot. <laughs> get the full scoop. Take a picture that ticks off all the check boxes and not the targets. <laughs> uh, my jokes are terrible. I don't even know if Majima's in this game. He needed Probably he not. Was. Just, uh. Oh, the hotel's over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> uh, let me redo it. Retry. I got caught. Uh, good photographer, I am not. Though this is kind of, sort of, in what I, I had to do in real estate. Not like the trailing people and following to their homes a bit. But, like, occasionally, like, we would get orders to take photos of a house that was about to be foreclosed on or a house neighboring a house that was about to be foreclosed on and you're not supposed to let them know that you're doing it which I always thought was weird because it sh I should just be able to be like hey I'm I'm here from the bank and they said to take pictures of it so I'm gonna take pictures of it
That's a terrible photo. <clears throat> Finally. Not bad for your age, you two. Looks like they're splitting up here. Time to follow the woman. <clears throat> so, Iggy, I think we were talking about it at one point in one of the other games, but Kamurocho is based on a real place, right? Oh, yeah. No, it's, uh... Hang on, I had it. Kabukicho, instead of Kamurocho. Ah. Uh. But yeah, other than the Millennium Tower, it's basically exactly the same. That man just went behind his boxes. Must have been the wind. <laughs> the delivery guy just giving no fucks. I could have gone inside and used the interior to hide in. Gone inside yeah, and used the <laughs> What the fuck bullshit was that? That was amazing. <laughs> oh, I just looped around him. No, stop it. What is she doing? <clears throat> Kamuro chemicals. Delightful days. Take this with me. Tailing a witness? Yes. And thank you for the 12 months sub, Daryl. Yay! How you doing? Uh, <laughs> he did that. I didn't do that. <laughs> Wait. This is... We're back at heavy coffee? What the hell? Could it be? Guess it doesn't matter. Picture should be enough for the client. Hello, Noriko san? <laughs> yeah, got me, san. Have you found anything out? Yeah, I'd like to go over my findings. Would you mind stopping by the office? I'll be right there. See you soon, then. Did I just... 
she made that up, didn't she? Made what up? The whole my husband's cheating thing. Possibly. Or it's an assumption. Based on this evidence, I said to say it was, I think it's safe to say with the most full certainty that your husband is cheating. I'm sorry. I see. I'm sorry. Was there more, Yami san? Yeah, regarding the woman your husband was seeing, does she look familiar? That's. Am I correct in assuming she's the owner of Kashozoku, the bar above Heavy Coffee? Ah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We've met a few times, actually. I had no idea he was seeing someone so close. I'm a fool to not have seen it earlier. Don't blame yourself. In a trusting relationship, you aren't really looking for those kinds of signs. Like I said, sometimes these kind of details are best left undiscovered. But your husband is seeing your neighbor. That much is true. And now the truce is a weapon in your hand. Just be careful about how you wield it, okay? Thank you, Yagami-san. I'm actually relieved to know it. I think I'll fall for a divorce! I see. I'm glad, though. I'm glad to know, rather than spend the rest of my life as an ignorant clod. Thank you for being so thorough. Just doing my job. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to get in touch. <laughs> nah, I'm thank you. I don't need to feel what I'm feeling right now ever again. Just want to end up right where it started. Sometimes it really is darkest under the lamppost. You can now accept requests from Yagami Detective Agency and get into the law office. Check out the bulletin board in Yagami's office. Side cases can be accepted there and there. Go to the bulletin board, go to the guy at bartender, and go to the law office. And blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Money. Oh, God. You can now play Outrun in your office. Yes. Hell yeah. Yay. Guess what we're doing? Playing Outrun in your office? Yes. Yeah. Time for some retro gaming. The thing that this channel theme forward and really hasn't done. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, 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 there you go. Check out them scan lines. It's so much worse uh, on this yeah. on the stream. <laughs> yeah, those aren't scan lines. They're like black strings all the way across yeah, this ready? stupid thing. Yeah. This game still had the uh, the oatmeal effect. The what now? It's not so noticeable when you're at speed, but when you first start, like stuff starts slowing down once it gets closer to you because it's not uh, scaled in perspective properly. It's called the oatmeal effect because it's like yeah, you know, it's like going through stuff like it goes through oatmeal when it gets close because it gets slower. Oh. So I'm not just making that up. I swear I read that somewhere. Oh, I could believe it. It sounds like a thing. <clears throat> What's 193 kilometers an hour in miles? Oh. A lot. Nine, three kmh to mph. That's uh, 119 miles per hour. Ah, very fast. Yes. I didn't even make it on the board. You must be very bad at this. Get ready. I must be. Oh yes, I didn't make it up. It's real. I, I read this article every few years. It's really fun about how uh, old pseudo 3D games work. You know why? I, I didn't shift gears. Uh oh, that'll do it. Hey, you got Good 275 job, kilometers an hour.
Cars don't go that fast. 293 kilometers an hour. The cars do not go that fast. Ah! We lived. That's 182 miles an hour. God damn it. So that's my numb finger accidentally hitting L1 every now and then. That's why the, per the uh, perspective shifted. Unfortunate. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. I think there's like the stone columns from fucking Space Harrier. <laughs> that would make sense. You're reusing assets from super old games. Space Harrier and Outland are probably pretty, uh, to each other, they? Is this a real game that existed back then? Yeah. What? what Outrun? Outrun? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Well, I don't know what's a real game and what's a fake game, or what's a real game ga that sounds fake, like all the pissing mini games. You've never seen Outrun before? I mean, I've seen it in this game. Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's a classic. Yeah, it's a classic it's arcade game that I'm very bad at. Yeah, read the article. World. Like, it's cool. Oh, actually, it mentioned Space Harrier, too. Champon? Champmon? Changyun? Champmon? It feels like it should be champion, but it's, like, spelled stupid. Yeah. Oh, do I get to put my name in? I do. Let's see if I can do it right this time. Yeah. I got enough of that. <laughs> Oops. Ah, damn it. Let's uh, ch check the board since we're over here. There's a panty thief on the loose. Or, where'd my jacket go? I agree, Council of Cats. We shall ignore them for now. Son, you might not know this being a foreigner and all, but we got a saying here a hot girl is a terrible thing to waste. What? Yeah, that's not exactly how it goes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all this over a girl, huh? Doesn't reflect too well on you, though. In this case, it looks like that reflection's actually kind of accurate. Mind your fucking business! Who do you think you are? A friend of Kim's. Someone who's not gonna just stand by and let you beat him to a pulp. Yeah, come here, son. All right, buddy. I don't want to do this, but you were asking for it. 
picking a fight with the Kenta Kasai of the Kahin Gang. Let's see how smart you really are, Mr. Know-It-All. Pretty smart. I'm a lawyer. That looked like it hurt. Mortal damage. Kill somebody? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I mortal that. damage is, uh, it's like permanent damage. I have to go see a doctor to get removed. See how oh, my, the end of my I life bar there. up there is, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I see. It's like radiation and fallout. Kinda, yeah. He's tougher than he looks. E exactly, yeah. Know it all, son of a bitch. Now get lost, and I better not catch you near Kim San again. I'm not going down that quiet. You're gonna regret making an enemy out of the Kahin. And don't come back. That's what you say when you win, dumbass. Nobody asked you. You okay, Kim San? <laughs> Thanks for the help, Yagami san. We should probably get out of here before they come back. Yeah, I work here. Good call. That's my door. I'm so sorry about this, Yagami san. Yeah, I, I never meant to drag you into my mess. Yagami looks like he could be a comic writer. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's a group of thugs that have been running wild recently. They have the whole town in a tizzy. <laughs> Not even the Yakuza know how to deal with them. Huh. Must really be something. Like I think I know this guy's voice oh, actor. I just can't right. place his name. They're a thorn in the city side. One of the leaders, that Pankasai, won't stop coming for one of my employees. Oh, I don't want to think about what he wants with her. Ooh. So you were just looking out for your worker. But of course! I am her boss! But Yakami-san, you really should not have gotten involved. Now, they were out for your head, too. Don't worry. I'll be just fine. Well, okay. Well, now, I will be here if you need anything. Uh, I have no way of verifying this offhand because I don't remember the guy's name. I think it's the guy who played Covetous Shen in Diablo 3. <laughs> Still nothing from Kaito san, what now? Well, what now, Mr. Cow? Uh, cow song. What was that? Introduction to drum racing? 
Introduction to drone racing. It was headed towards Millennium Two. Uh, I don't Hmm. I think the drone went down this way. Huh? Oh, whoa, whoa. Ow. What gives? <laughs> ah, sorry. Huh? Uh, are you alright? Are you hurt? Says small man. I'm small, fine, small I guess. Small man. Small, 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 small. Angry. <laughs> Angry because small. Jealous of tall. <laughs> I take to I the guess. skies. I guess my cousin was I take was to all the wrong. skies so that I can fly and terrorize. I guess my customization was all wrong. I need to put more of a focus on speed. Now, was he babbling about? I don't think speed's the point, man. You need to be careful when you're flying drones in a crowded city. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Sorry. Uh, this little guy goes pretty well sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not funny if you ask me. I'd say you're just a bad pilot. <laughs> he was there. Flying drones is pretty hard, you know? I know. I have one. Yeah. You do? That makes us rivals, then. What? By right of causing you bodily harm with my drone, we are now rivals. We locked me? eyes, now we must fight. <laughs> rivals? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're probably on your way to register now, aren't you? Uh, back it up. Where is her for who what now? How do you not know? The drone races, man. There's a race? The bird takes flight. Sure is. It's today. In fact, when my drone came at you, I was in the middle of a test flight. So I see. Was it even legal to fly that fast in the city? Of course it is for a race. You gotta go fast. In fact, the sign at the top area is just ahead. Why don't you enter? Huh? Come on, right over here. Get a move on. Hey. This is where you sign up. Looks like you've got a pretty lively little community. Everyone's doing last minute mods for the race. Customs, huh? Yeah, tweaking it for max speed is the only way you're gonna win. Hey, I know. Show me your drone. Huh? Alright. You just pulled this out of my shoe. Here you go. <laughs> this could be a little rough, but... I need to borrow your drone. I ain't foot. What are you planning on doing? Don't worry. This is make up for crashing into you earlier. Just this once. I put tape on it. There you go. You're good to go. What did you do? <laughs> I modified it so it'd be faster. Hmm? You... I don't see a difference. I modded the guts. When you see it in a race, Charles gonna hit the floor. Really? Let's make sure not to fly too fast outside the race, okay? They've been cracking down on us because of a few bad apples. Yeah, I'll be careful. That's the guy who crash landed right in my face giving me a speed lecture. Now what's going on over there? Oh, that's the drone lab. Lab. To put it simply, they make drone parts. If you're ever struggling with a race, you can hit them up to improve your machine. Ah, so the goal is to customize it yourself. Obtain materials. It's the slot car racing mechanic of this game. Hooray! Slot car! Pocket Circuit Fighter. Thing. Pocket Circuit Fighter. Oh, I never gave you my name, did I? It's Small Man. No, it's Makihara. <laughs> I mean, got me. Nice to meet you. Nice what to meet you, you Maki Roll. <laughs> Good on racing, huh? It does sound fun. Nice work, Kaito-san. <laughs> We're meeting at that indoor fishing pond. Koi brine or some shit. You heard of it? Indoor fishing pond? Can't say I have. Neither had I till about ten minutes ago. 
Anyway, still run Shichifuku Street. I'll meet you there. Indoor fishing pond. That sounds boring. Some would say the point of fishing is to be boring. The point of fishing is to relax with your buddies. Exactly. That's not boring. And get drunk. It's a boring right. medium to do other things in. Oh. Oh, they actually print the parts. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's try a race. Hi, those chairs, pigeon. It's got a bird head on it, and that disturbs me. Think it's real? What no, but uh, this one is, and I am tempted. Ow. Ch check out this decked out drone. It's a fucking bird. This is a fucking car engine. Neon. Okay, that is very non-aerodynamic on account of it being oh. a square. Oh, that's great. It's perfect. You don't understand. Oh, look at the dots. Those are speed holes. <laughs> Those oh, are speed holes. That's where the speed comes out? Yeah. <laughs> Doing it. Brake, turbo, look back, up, down, forward, bet, 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 chase, Kara bet, likes the cat there. cube drone. I wonder why. Maybe because it's a cat. Well, there are many cats on this stream. At least four. Notice you actually... Okay, wow. Yeah. I wish flying a drone was this easy. <laughs> yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Like, you remember the fucking helicopter toys? Yeah. It's just as hard. It's always hard. It's turbo time. <laughs> it's not it's not Christmas, I can't make that joke yet. It's Christmas somewhere. See what did I tell you, it's the best drone. Would you like to upload your finish time for this race? Sure. Number one in the world ever? Wow. Amazing. <laughs> so Imagine. Good. All right, that's enough of that. Let's do what we're supposed to do. Go on an elevator. To the first floor. Aside from the mortal damage? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I'm, I'm severely damaged. Oh. All right, time time for a a healing club sandwich and a baguette, and that's all I can eat. Tasted of wounds. You've acquired a Camaro Go coupon since you use a. 1,200 pounds or more, or pounds, yen or more. This discount coupon will be applied on your next visit. Ah, Club sandwich, baguette sandwich. Back to it. Oh, essential, okay. <laughs> Wait, that's the way I went. How do I get out of here? Hello, Titter. <laughs> <laughs> Titter! It's a Frank or Z. I haven't seen a Frank or Z in forever. Welcome. Where was that, Doctor? Outside Children's Park. Right, okay. I can get I can do it. We need to get our wounds sterilized and treated to the sewers. So many zombie cats in chat. Must we? Yeah. What if we have a dog and a cat? Mm, I think that's fair. He had it coming. He had it coming. He had it coming. I, I ran right past fucking Children's Park. Gentlemen. Children's Park is hard to find. Oh, it's in the sewer, of course. In the sewer of Ego. Children's Park. Ego 21 Art, I assume it's how I pronounce it. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the arcade. Hello, thank you. I know, I think I know who that is. I've seen the name. I've seen them. Welcome. We are playing Judgment. We're in the sewer. The army's home. Where all the most reputable doctors are found. 20,000 yen? 200 okay. bucks. 200 bucks, that sounds great. Man, 200 bucks, I'd be treated in the sewer. I'd be perfectly okay with that. <laughs> yeah, it's good to have... It's good to have some sewer treatment. Well, anyway, welcome to the stream, folks. We've never been here before. We are Team Retrofox. We have a Twitter at Team Retrofox. Tells us tells you when we're going live. What we're gonna do. Sometimes. Sometimes. If if we're not total flakes about it, like I usually am. <laughs> what a waste. And this is I know what I'm about. This man vomited while flipping upside down and landed on his face. But did he miss the vomit? <laughs> no, he fl he flipped right into it, which was impressive. <laughs> That's a little bit. You are already dead, Nani, and then splatter. No. 
Oh! What's this? I found a, some dirty iron. Koi Bride. Guess this is the place. Is that a pun? Could be a pun. This place. Yo, welcome. It's... I can imagine Yo, what it smells like in here. Chair, talk. <laughs> oh yeah, I can too, actually. Don't like the smell. Sounds like a bad smell. It's, it's like, you ever go to like a really good tackle shop? Imagining that smell. Ayabe said he'd meet us here, but I don't know what his deal is. I once went to a uh, aquarium that had live seals you could feed. Imagine yeah, it smells kind of like right. that. Yeah. Ooh. Ayabe is sure taking his time getting here. Should we ask that guy? I wouldn't. Who knows if he's one of Ayabe's boys? True, but... Look, Ayabe's a dirty cop. The last thing he wants is his cover blown. We won't get a peep from him if that happens. Got it? Sure, sure. Hmm? Hey, someone's coming. Welcome. Pick a rod, I guess. Yo, gotten any bites today? Not even a nibble. And you're scaring them off. Get lost. Come on. Don't be like that. You're here for Ayabe, right? <laughs> Who's that? Don't play dumb with me. It's not gonna end well for you. You got it all wrong. Just fishing. Right. We ain't your boys. We look like the type to hang out with cops. Huh. Who said anything about him being a cop? Oh, well, uh, oh, fuck. So you do? <laughs> I fucking called it. These assholes baited me. That one was all you. So what do you want with Ayabe? Tell me, or else. Yeah, I'm real scared. Look, we don't want trouble. Just step off and we won't hurt you. You got balls, don't you? I'm gonna serve them to you! That's satisfying. You all done? Or do you want some more? I want some grape. Doesn't sound like they do. <laughs> all right. You boys are in. You what? Ibe-san's careful dealing with new people. He's selling police info after all. Gotta make sure his partners can keep a secret. And these guys? Working for Ibe-san. <laughs> Ibe knows me though, doesn't he? You're Kaito-san, yeah? The boss told me about you. You're dumber than I thought. <laughs> Look here, asshole! Right, not now, Kaito. Nah, he's pretty dumb. You, where's Ayabe? Behind the counter. Come take a look. Seriously, though, I saw this in the background during the fight, and I really want the grape one, and I don't know why. <laughs> Probably it not opposed to... Not opposed to Ultra Melon there. That looks like cantaloupe or something, which 
Oh, it would be good. Sure, yeah, no, it's like the Japanese melons. You know how they're all about melon? Yeah. Do they have berry flavored? Uh, Grape is a berry. Grape is a berry, if you want to get technical. I got some tea, some Wilkinson Tansan something, some cider, some canned coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the one who can read Japanese. Is there a Pokari Sweat in there? Get some Pokari Sweat, that's good. There's energy drink. And there's beautiful there's water. Energy there's also, yeah, and there's also Poseidon power. Maybe that's the Pakari sweat, not, you know, look alike. Oh, I gotta beam your meat. Okay then. And I'm gonna I'm gonna play with the koi. I don't think that's recommended. It's your people. I'm not a koi. I am too white to be a koi. Koi are explicitly Japanese. What the? You're looking at Ernest, the they do know exactly what you mean. Best Blueberries aren't a thing in Japan. Lamont. French for lover. You know what they say. There's an amazing like, lover behind every not really. bride. <laughs> well, aren't you guys international? It was a pun. Go down and have fun. Ayabe-san will be here soon. Here, these are on the house. Casino chips and a key. <laughs> oh no. If Iggy were playing, we'd be here for the rest of the night playing blackjack. Damn right. Do it, do it, I do it. This is, I think that's exactly where the game ended when you were playing. You know, right? That's exactly what happened. It was either that or they ha if they had Hanafuda down here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, our Might have been see. the Hanafuda. Perfect. Fancy. So the stupid pawn was just a front? Wow. <laughs> Fine by me. Well, want to see what they've Being got to offer? They're not indigenous to that land. Chips to use. How did that... You guys saw that fall down, right? I missed it. Behind Kaito there, that thing just like tilted over when the cutscene ended and... I entirely All missed right. it, I'm sorry. Our choices are blackjack and... uh, poker. Pokers. Do poker. I'm doing poker. What kind of poker is it? Poker. Got a pair of tens. One pair. Yeah. Ace Queen Little Blind. Call. Not bad. King two. Nine. It's not the worst. Not looking great. 
Well, I still have ace queen high in case anybody has nothing. Oh, they bet. I'm out. Devil! Where's my angry button? Help, I can't find my angry button. There, there it is. Angry. Disappointed. Um, check. Uh, check. Mm. Nope. <laughs> Everybody's out of that one. Yep, this is poker. Oh, I can be a little less angry about this one. Pair of nines. King, queen. <laughs> New Vegas reference. Well, I mean, you still can. There's no way I'm gonna pull anything out of this. Whatever. Maybe I'll scare them off. There's one down. Oh, you got me. Full house. Ugh. There's no poker in New Vegas? Oh yeah, that's right. They used that stupid other video game that or card game that they designed. Yeah, glad I bailed on that one. Oh, you got me. Pair of aces, that was fucked no matter what. Pair of fives. Yeah. Give me a queen, give me a three, give me something. Well, that's two pair on the board, queen high. I was never good at caravan, that's why I'm dissing <gasps> it. Ooh, pair of threes on him. Mm. Two pair high queen. Back to the angry face. We're gonna raise off the bat. We're gonna raise off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing poker like a crazy person. All right, bring it. Yeah. Oh, you got me. Ah. Damn. All in. It's not a button, but don't play like this. <laughs> this is not it's a smart way of playing poker or anything. 
This is this is me having given up all fucks. There was a queen in there, and it could have been interesting. Oh well. I got two pair. Two strong pair. Two pair. Yeah. More or less broke even. Right? Sorry, it was 250. Walked out with 270. Overtime. Come on. Ayabe's waiting. This obviously grizzled gentleman in a stereotypical trench coat. I take it you are Yagami-san. Or would Yagami-sensei be more appropriate? <laughs> Whatever works for you. Sorry about that whole test thing. Name's Ayabe. Kamurocho Organized Crime Division. Azuya Ayabe. Pleasure. So, how you liking the casino? Pretty swanky, huh? Why? You the owner or something? Not quite. I do my part to keep it hidden, though. Cut a deal with the Tojo, too. Barely pay a lick of protection money now. I guess I do practically run the place. And you never invited me? I'm hurt. Sorry, I can't give you the VIP treatment when all you buy is the dirt off my shoes. Alright, let's cut to the chase, shall we? You know those Cure murder cases? They're all managed by my boss. Guy named Kuroiwa. He's the one who brought your captain in. But, thanks to you, Hamura walked, and now Kuroiwa's got egg on his face. <laughs> Felt good, let me tell you. I'm a fan of your work. So here, the first one's on the house. Oh, gee, thanks. <clears throat> Guess we got Kuroiwa to thank for this. Now, I pulled together reports on all the cases so far. Three in total, including the trial the other day. Not so fast. You're on the hook if this shit gets out. Oh, pretty scary. And what happens if it does? You're dead. I <sighs> figured as much. <laughs> Protect that with your life, huh? Will do. It's coming for you, Shady. It's all hell, but you get anything you want. Can you <clears throat> tell me more about this Kuroiwa guy? He's the darling of the Camaro police station. Strong, popular, and always gets his mark. They've got him fast-tracked for promotion. And you don't like him, why? Guy's too damn perfect. Think it's any fun working with a perfectionist? Not nope. to mention, he's a handsome devil. Envy's what makes a man ugly, friend. Especially, uh, coming from a dirty cop. I don't know. I think it's kind of refreshing. <laughs> Glad you see it my way, Yagami-san. Here, look at this asshole. Yeah, handsome. <laughs> right. He knows who you are, by the way. After all, you're the guy who got Hamura acquitted. Fair enough. Anyway, don't open that here, okay? I'll keep it shut tight till I'm back in my office. That work? I'm usually hanging around tender. Swing by there if you need anything else. Got it. Yeah, and there's a reason to go to bartender. I'm gonna play a few hands while I'm here. You staying, or...? I'll think about it. Righto. See you around. Let's do some blackjack before we leave. Fuck it. Oh, what do you have? Prize exchange. Spiritual awakening. Got some paint. A lot of paint. And some free pass vouchers. 
<laughs> no explanation as to what any of those items actually are. Wait, striped paint? That's like a cartoon thing. Want a free drink? Uh, yeah. Oh, Water. Free. Water and orange juice. Mix them together. Make no. grog. <laughs> Good stuff. This is a blackjack table. Yeah. <clears throat> I just accepted a free drink. I accept the two free drink because all drinks are complimentary. I'll just there you go. Mm. Thirteen. What would you like to do? Iggy. Hit. Hit me. Nineteen. Stand. I'll stand. Dealer bus. Split it. Oh, you can't split because it's not tens. All right. Well, total fourteen. Mm, hit. Hit me. Bust. Boo. Oh, you got me. Let's start. Let's start. Guy next to me has a twenty. Uh, I got a four. <laughs> no, wait, it's a fifteen. Fifteen or six or five, rather. Oh, it says fifteen. So, hit, stand, hit, hit, hit. Hit. Hit me. Thirteen. Stay. Stand. I'm thirteen. Yeah. I'll stand. Hey, sorry. Do sorry, Master. Beto, Negaishimas. Oteo Arakan. Oh, that's a theoretical twenty. Stay. Stand. Double down? No. 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 Stand. I'll stand. Stand. I'll stand. You're tied. Do sorry, Master. Beto, Negaishimas. Oteo Arakani. Looks like we got twenty. I'll stand. Why can't you split, though? Yeah, you're right. Don't know. It's upsetting. Hit. 
do king because I could probably split that. <clears throat> I certainly yep. hope so. I'll split. This one's at 15. Hmm. Stand. I'll stand. 17. Stand. I'll stand. Thirteen, twenty-three. Win-win. Yay. Bet to Bet to Bet to Bet to Bet to Bet I'll double down. <laughs> nice. All right. And that's where we walk away. Yes, do walk away. We haven't spent a dime of actual yen. Yes, I just mixed up currencies. Just let it go. I mean, how would this work? Do you like, you fish up the koi and then you keep it? No, you, you put, put the back? koi back. You get a sticker? <laughs> a little you get a, sticker to put on the calendar. You get a little shark. Whale. Fish. Shark. I want the ice cream. I do not want what this man is drinking. It seems to have made him grumpy. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, so Me too. <laughs> it's really fun. And I'm kind of sad I let the game like sit there untouched for three years. Yeah. I guess I should touch my coffee at some point. It's kind of like uh, Skyrim lives a bit more realism. Indeed. But it's just weirdly satisfying. I've gone like a full stealth build. So, like, when they say, go to this camp full of bandits and kill them, and when you kill the leader, bring me there, or whatever. I, I sneak into the camp, knock out the guards, and then kill them all while they're asleep. And it's worked, like, four times so far. Well, it's how these things work, isn't it? But, uh, it doesn't always works smoothly there's a lot of reloading yeah yeah because yeah Ruby's girl bar and some.
Come on, buddy. Hit the target. What was that about? Were they going after this? Oh yeah, Iggy, since you can read this. Mm-hmm. What did that say? That's literally all kanji that I can't read. Okay. I, I got the hiragana, I got the katakana. Kanji is a son of a fuck. Are you just... everything is cats. They gave me a lot of rental cats, okay? Here's Matthew. Matthew. No, don't like that. He's a good boy. Don't like that. <laughs> Matthew is a good boy. Can you stop that? No. You you can get away with it because, or rather, your persona name is the same as your real name. <laughs> yeah. Don't like that. Spin. <laughs> Spin. I can't put him in here. Too much cat, not enough space. Such things happen, I guess. I'm so glad I don't have speakers and that Briscoe and Mindy can't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like they understand every word that's being said like native English speakers. Well, no, but they, they hear, they understand that the sound is being emitted by one of their kind. And so they go, they start oh. investigating, like, real hard. Real hard. I'm glad one of us is earning this pay. How are those docks from Iowa looking? Not bad. How things go at the casino? I want a mill or so. A mill? I'd have kept going, but that seemed like a good round number. Oh, good. Guess I don't need to pay you this month. Hey, I ain't a charity. Anyway, anything good in there? Not yet. Cops only got as far as arresting Hummer. Well, according to this, that was the only lead they had. They're as stumped as we are. No wonder Ayabe was practically giving that shit away. There is something in here about the second murder, though. Apparently, they had been tracking the victim, Kunimura, right up until his death. He's the mole's second victim. I, I just got a job. I take it like Kunimura? Yeah. Two hours before his death, he was seen leaving a brothel called Konban Wife. The kind of place where the girls pretend they're married. It sounds like he was there for a Kanai-chan. <laughs> At least the guy had some fun before he went out. Hell, that's how I want to go. 
I'm gonna go talk to this Kanai-chan. See if she knows anything about Kunimura. With any luck, I might even get a lead on the mole. Come on, man. Leave the sexy shit to me. You're too young to handle a married woman anyway. <laughs> you do realize I'm just gonna talk to her, right? You're seriously not letting me take point on this one? What if I tell Mafuyu-chan? Go ahead. No skin off my back. This looks like the weirdest place for a throwdown. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way they're kind of squaring off and then meow. Uh, I am really thirsty, so uh, I'm not gonna leave you with a BRB with like cats meowing. That'd be weird. Uh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Having a track screen, I'll be right back. Look, it's the oatmeal effect. Oatmeal, hooray! I know. Are you sure it's the oatmeal effect, zombie? Are you sure it's not yes, the porridge I, effect? I am, I am very sure because I found the article and I linked it in chat. Well, so much for my pedantry, but all right. Your, your pedantry? Yeah, pedantry. <laughs> yeah, it's the oatmeal effect. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you like in your oatmeal, zombie? Uh, ooh. So, was this your? No, it was, uh, it was, uh, uh, what's his name's idea? The squirrel guy. What's his name? <laughs> we haven't talked to him. We talked to him like once a year. Daikun? Daikun, yeah, yeah. Or whatever he goes by now. It's not Daikun. Anyway, uh, his idea was you take some like you know instant oatmeal the kind of like microwave for a minute yeah. and uh you uh instead of water you put in brewed coffee right oh and then and then you microwave it just a little bit like half the time because it's already hot it's already like half cooked and then and then you put in peanut butter so coffee and peanut butter instead of water it's really good mm. i don't know about that and it wakes you the fuck up Sure it does. I like the peaches and cream one. Oh, peaches and cream. I've never tried that. Oh, you mean like the uh, the kind you get in a box that's like already flavored? Yeah. Ah, I've had those since I was a kid, but uh, I have good memories of them. Very good. Yes. Oh, you know what? I bought some uh, like some local raw raspberry honey recently. <laughs> you should try that in oatmeal. That sounds good. Mm, that does sound pretty good. Maple or brown sugar. Yeah, yeah. sometimes I'll flavor my uh, coffee and peanut butter uh, oatmeal with a little brown sugar. Maybe a little sea salt. Also, it makes you poop real good, too. Well, you're always about being regular. Well, uh, you know, I try to be. I, I, I eat a lot of bran flakes. You, you know, uh, you know uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, irritable bowel syndrome? Yeah. I have the opposite. Unirritable bowel. Uh, calm bowel <laughs> syndrome. Is that a I thing? Yes. <laughs> it is now. I just said it out loud. Coffee is a laxative. <laughs> Look at the driver. He actually is like appeared oh, behind nice, the car. Nice. Oh my god! You paused at the perfect moment. I guess technically it's caffeine. It's a diuretic and a laxative sort of, I don't know. I bought these uh, cold brew bags. It's just ground coffee in a, like a tea bag. And we uh, we brewed a pitcher first time at home. 
and I fucking love it. It's uh, mm. Grady's Good. cold brew coffee. You know, I've been meaning to get something like that. Cooper introduced me to uh, Stoke Coffee a few days ago. Uh, I need to get some, or, or something similar. Like, just straight cold brew coffee is delicious when it's, like, ice cold. Yeah. Put a little, little uh, French vanilla cream in there. Ooh. Bomb. Uh, what? A bomb? Run for it. Call the police. Run. Uh, There's a terrorist. Some kind of Yakuza thing. No, it's again. Another bomb. Where's it coming from? The mad bomber strikes. Probably not a bomb. Find the bomb. Found it. There it is. <laughs> it's really? Just right there. It really is a bomb. Huh? Ah, mommy. Uh, How does kid end up here alone? Mean? It's bad. This kid could get. What do I do? What do we do? What do I do? No time to think. Yeah. Shit. Only 15 seconds left. What the fuck? Shit. No time left. Just gotta do it. Huh? Oh. Did we survive? Yasukun. Mommy. I'm, disappeared. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I oh, was thank God. I thought we were both gunners. Phone call. Hello? There are bombs in Camarocho. I said I placed bombs in Camarocho. Three in total. First one exploded, as you saw. The second, you have just disarmed. And that leaves one more. The detonator is in your eyeball. You must choose or gas. Yes. Gas. Yes. We'll fill Camarocho. Find it in the Angel of the Warriors Maze. Champions it's Champions District. Earth by Earth Angel. It's a good thing I know this city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so that would be a champion's district over here by Earth's Angel. Run into everybody and everything. It's the only way. Yeah, I should have grabbed some of that cold brew. Let's try to grab the Coke Zero. Now where's the bomb? Found it. Same type of bomb as the other, so I should be able to just pull the wire. Did it work? Can't have stopped. Thank God. Hello? Nah, you've done well. Is there a point to this? What's your game? No. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've been chosen. Chosen? Chosen for what? Chosen to stop me. We either succeed, or Kamarocha will go up in flames. This isn't over. Now, you must be a good boy and wait. How did you get my number? Oh, I mean, he is a lawyer, so I'm assuming it's publicly lit or a detective. I'm assuming it's, it's his business line. Uh, well, since I'm ah, let's take the taxi over to Tenkaichi. Tenkai, yeah. Oh, I'm under attack. Let's take care of this first. Indeed. Ooh! <laughs> I, 
I didn't want to apologize to that person. It's facing with a can of something. Ow. Why so violent? It's the only thing I could do to keep the monster inside be calm. Otherwise, bikes <laughs> will explode. Oh no. I am really wounded. Hold up. Hey, that's Earth Angel. Well, they might have actual food in there. Oh, Mama's still here. Yeah, she's here. <laughs> Let's have some Jack Daniels. Good for what ails you. And this and this. Uh, nope. Maybe not all that. None of these are really good for healing. He fell T-posing. He's asserting dominance over the floor. Since he is now one wizard. Something I've done many a time. Because I fall down a lot. All that just to get thrown. And stay down. So the sequel to this game is coming out in uh, September, late September. So maybe uh, if everything just lines up, we can go from this to that. Good evening, erotic married. That's exactly all it says. It says, good evening, erotic married. Hmm. Can't let you see my face. You <laughs> saw my face. Welcome, sir. <laughs> You'll have to die now. Oh, Yuna-chan, Marin-chan, and Kanai-chan are all free tonight. Here's their pictures. It's a thousand extra to make specific requests. So I don't have to pick any of them. I see. Is this your first time here, sir? Why don't we start by picking a duration? Duration? And any options you'd like. Uh, options? Right. Uh, let's start at the top, huh? For durations, we have 35 minutes for 9,000 yen. 50 minutes for 13,000 yen, or 65 minutes for 17,000 yen. I don't have that kind of yen. 35 minutes, I guess. How about if I just take leave? Uh, maybe I'll come back. If you say... No, I actually have to do this. Again. Let's do 
35 minutes? That will work. Though I'd truthfully suggest staying a little longer. Interesting. Ultimately, it's your choice, though. Don't worry. There's no wrong answer. Did you have a specific girl in mind? At the moment, we have Yuna-chan, Marin-chan, and Kanai-chan. I'll go with Kanai-chan. A fine choice, sir. Something wrong, sir? Yep. Great. Next, you can pick any options you'd like to add. You can discuss those directly with the girl. What kind of options are we talking? Oh, all kinds. Mm. What's any of that say? Open to everything, you know. Um, all you need to know about Kanai-chan is she doesn't do Afro. Study rotary. Yes, she had a bad experience with them when she was young. Oh, sorry to hear that. Guess there have yeah, been all those murders shit. lately too. Yes, well, you came here to forget all of that. Yes. Anyway, let me show you to your room. Right this way, sir. Oh, I immediately don't like this. Oh. Sort of out of your price range, huh? Why are you even here? What's going on? Maybe I should be asking you the same question, yeah? Who talked? <laughs> Not that I need to. Why are you still looking into the Curie murders, talk? Keep your eyes to yourself, lest you want to lose them. Are we clear? <laughs> you don't get to decide what I do. Don't go digging up dirt. Shintani went through a lot of work making those charges go away. <laughs> you want to keep playing detective? You ought to work out more. Well, I got jumped earlier by four assholes wearing ski masks. Yeah? And why should I care? Well, I think maybe you had something to do with it. I'm pretty sure that's the four of them right there. Huh. I think you must have my boys confused. Right, Kengo? Yeah. No one likes a fucking liar! Oh! <laughs> Sean quit, packed her bags, and went back home. So stop looking for her. Why? I'm gonna let you off with a yellow card this time. <laughs> but only because the boss likes you so much. Well, shit. Hmm. That's Yagami. You got a sec? Sure. Are you okay? You don't sound too good. I could use a hand with uh, the family captain. I'd really appreciate it if you could get him off my case. I see. Well, uh, I'm just killing time at the office right now. Why don't you come on by? Oh, he called their boss. Sounds good. So going right to the family office seems like the worst thing I could possibly do, so let's do that. <laughs>
Almost there. So, uh, you know how I was talking uh, last night about the uh, the Time Warp Buffet? I don't think I was there for that part of the, anything. Oh. Oh, I thought I mentioned it. Yeah, so uh, we, uh, me and Kubrick and Chance and a few other friends uh, went to a, uh, a Chinese buffet. And uh -huh. uh, the TV was playing uh, PBS fundraiser, like, on loop that just, like, kept repeating. And, like, there was only one song on the PA system that kept repeating. Oh, no. And it just, like, it, like drilled into our brain. So we were in the Time Warp Buffet. <laughs> I, I, just, I just remembered how the song went. It's like, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. And all the employees were humming along to it. Like, you know, it's apparently like a, a chart topper in China or something, but that's all that was playing. And occasionally an ad would play on the PA system for like, you know, whatever. And then and then the song would play again. And we kept thinking, is it gonna change? Is it gonna change? But oh no, it's that same refrain. And mm. um I, I just I just remembered how the song went, so I thought I'd I'd mention something. <laughs> well, there we go, I guess. Oh, hello. You guys should uh, let me clean your carpets. Oh, gross. Pretty gross, yeah. Hey, take a seat. Seat? Uh, forgive me if this is rude, but I'll cut right to the chase, my boy. Hmm? I don't know what's going on between you and Hamura. There's nothing I can do to help. What do you mean? You're not even going to hear my side of the story? You'd just be wasting your time. Hammer has been bankrolling the family for a while now. I get by on the scraps he leaves me. I'm... I'm just a figurehead. But... The clan will do the things I ask of them. Yes. But if they had to choose between my orders and Hamura's, who knows? Maybe they would choose not to hear me. How long has it been like this? Years. The prime of my career was... Well, it ended back when I was raising you. Matsugane-san. If only Kaito was still in the family. Maybe things wouldn't have turned out like this. We're not done here. Actually, we are. I have a message from Captain Hamura, Yagami-san. He says to go see him right away. He's waiting for you at Cafe Alps. He wants to talk. Fine. I'll head over when I feel like it. Don't piss him off, Yagami-san. Unless you want to lose your eyes, too. Is that why it was called Judgment Eyes in Japan? Probably. Oh yeah, I should buy some health items. I did kind of blow through them all. <laughs> Sata Nanamura. Hmm? Hi. Yeah, it's the exact same thing as last time. I do not want an Odin. I would like... Three of those, and three of those, and three of those. That'll work. Yay, another record. Excuse me. 
soda. It makes you burp. He wanted me to go to Cafe Alps. Easier to take the taxi. Alright, or not. You know, with all the bikes around, you figure I could just hop one. Oh, he has a curse. Every time he touches one, it explodes. True. See? Oh. <laughs> Jay, no! He become mad with power. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Was that your bike? Ow. <laughs> it's the same three huge from last time. Names and all. Yeah, they're back for revenge. Someone dropped a cell phone. I'll just hit you with it, sir. Oh, it's a camera. This guy's puffy coat gives him extra health. Almost took too long. I heard the cops like revving up. Revving up. Uh, let's see inventory. See what's going on at Cafe Elves. Uh, zombie, what's your plan for tomorrow? Oh, I don't know. Probably more dice and sphere program. Yeah. Uh, would you guys be interested in like picking up our Crusader Kings game on Wednesday, perhaps? Yeah. Yeah, I'd be down. Yeah. Welcome, sir. Please take a seat wherever you'd like. Guess I got here first. I didn't think you'd try to pull that. Running off and telling an adult. Like a fucking child. Oh, I just thought that the guy who actually runs the show would want to be able to keep tabs on his captain. He doesn't need to. So you keep your goddamn nose out of this shit. Understand? Or do I need to spell it out? Yeah. I'm hearing you loud and clear. So... I guess we're done here. We're not done until I say so. Talk. Well, I guess 
you always have been a fighter. None of us thought you'd last a day in law school, but you sure showed us. Went to night classes, passed the bar. You say you're done, but a guy with balls like you doesn't give up. You fought for your lawyer's badge, but trash with a badge is still trash. And it's about time to take you out. Ozaki. Kidding. Hey man, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Your ass ready to die? Huh? Oh, enough of this. You're dead! <sighs> this is some bullshit. You already went. Huh? My turn. It's only fair I take my turn. Yeah. Matsugane family. The whole damn thing. I should have taken care of like eight hours ago. <laughs> Perfect. Oh no! If okay. This is everyone's uh, uh, advice. Check your laundry. Kojiro Ozaki. And friends! Starfield and friends. Oh, 
Ooh. Come on, hammer. Just, uh, heal up a little bit. Switch over to tiger style. You will not rob me of the soccer ball. Not how you use a soccer ball, but okay. Just uh, take this in midair. Oh, I'm going to die. There we go. Anybody else? Yeah, like what did I do in that? You're not making that shot. Fuck up, Kengo. Saved by Anonymous. No way. We gotta go. This way. 
Oh, I almost fucked that up off the bat. Of course. Oh, Damn it. Uh. I'll oh. <laughs> be back to the future now. Yeah, he's actually doing it. We'd be a manure truck somewhere. Oh, beautiful. I wish I could, like, I want to see that in a live action movie, but, like, done well. <laughs> You know what those chase segments did? They're stupid but fun. QTE done right. first why should I after what you did to me this afternoon I gave your phone back didn't I then why even take it what was the point of it I was trying to get away from a cop asshole just wouldn't get off my case but when I saw you on the phone I had the greatest idea okay go on well I guess the first step was taking your phone I knew you'd end up following me after that. Then, seeing you and me running in the same direction, the cop would think you were my buddy. And while he took his sweet time arresting you, I was gonna escape. I have to say, never thought you'd actually get away from him too, though. Eh, guess all's well that ends well, yeah? And just now, why'd you come save me? Good question. Why did I do it? Eh, beats me. <laughs> Interesting stuff. <laughs> Let's just say I wanted to apologize for stealing your phone. 
Lucky break, huh? You'd have got your brains blown out if it wasn't for me. You're telling me. Guess I owe you. In which case, we're even now. Hey. Why are you so dead set on this burglary ring? There's got to be something better. <laughs> what? If you're looking for work, maybe you could join us instead. <sighs> and have the Yakuza out for my head? Fat chance. Those guys from before were Matsugane family. But, uh, the cure is also looking for me. <laughs> you sure know how to sell it. <laughs> but, I don't think we can trust each other just yet, Yagami-san. What'd you say? How do you know my name? <laughs> I bet he's the young lawyer from the law firm. Possible. And that ends chapter two. And also kind of neatly ends tonight's show. It's a show yeah. now. We're a show. <laughs> We're a show. Sure. Uh, so stick around because as always, I like to raid someone. But first, I want to thank everyone for spending your evening with us. Thank you for all the new follows and subscriptions and all that. Very, very much appreciated. <laughs> On we screen like it very now. Much. We appreciate everybody. Yeah. yeah, and we really appreciate our subscribers who are scrolling on screen now. Really couldn't do what we do without you. And you'll notice if you joined us today, if you subscribe, your name's up there too. Uh, if you haven't yet, please follow us here and on Twitter at Team RetroFox. Uh, we have a YouTube link down below where you can find all of our past playthroughs, including Yakuza Like a Dragon, if you want to see a game set in the same universe as this. Uh, if you want to support the channel more directly, if you have Amazon Prime, you have your Prime Gaming sub that helps out a channel as much as a paid subscription. And if you don't, there's always uh, that Patreon link down below. Uh, we do like to end things with a raid. Let's see who's on. You know what? Kubrick's on. Let's go say hi to oh, Kubrick. They are doing... It looks like PUBG. Oh yeah, he just started. Looks nah. like cool. Yeah, nice so timing. We're catching, yeah, catching him just as he starts. Give our love to the big fox. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow with Dyson Sphere program. Yeah. Have Take a good care, night, everybody. everybody.